welcome back to my channel i just made this denim just not denim this army fatigue jacket and i just kind of just like put a whole bunch of like ribbons and strings and all kind of stuff on there i freaking love it so stay tuned so i can show you how i did it it's cute ain't it oh my god i think i want to add like more stuff to like here but for now this is so cute I love it. It's super, super, super strong. Like, super strong. I don't have that much left, but this is one I use. So your stuff is gonna stay on. It's not gonna come back off. So get this one. Don't get the regular one. The regular one is just for like little arts and craft, but this one is for like heavy duty, you know, projects. So yep, hope that helps. So I got my fabrics and trims from Joanne Fabric. Um, oh my god, they had so many choices. It was hard to decide on what to get, but I'm going to go back. I want to make a colorful jacket, like a little unicorn inspired one, but these are all the trimmings. So go to Joanne Fabric and you'll find everything you need for this video. This is an old jacket that I had um, a couple years ago and just decided to revamp it. So you don't have to do this part, but I wanted to cut off the um, buttons and um, just to kind of just, because you're not going to be able to adjust it when after you put the stuff on there. So you might as well cut it off so it's not bulky. Right here, I wanted to make sure that it was even um, on both sides, although you're probably not going to be able to tell when you have the jacket on, but I just wanted to make sure it was perfect.
I also got these trimmings from Joanne Fabric. I really feel like I need to go get some more because I want it to be full and just look really like extra. And um, oh yeah, and the shoulder pads, I did those off camera because I wasn't planning on recording me doing this um, jacket. So I ended up doing it off camera, but I got those shoulder pads in LA when I went back in February. So you could, I mean, you could use any shoulder pads you want or any kind of like bedazzle, anything. You kind of just create your own situation. I also got these letters in LA in the fashion district. Um, they were like a dollar each letter, uh, but you could use any kind of um, letters. Um, you probably could find some on Amazon or Etsy if you want like cute little letters, bedazzled letters like that. But they have like regular ones in like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and stuff like that that you could use. So here I'm taking off the old buttons and I'm going to be replacing them with these um, bedazzled buttons that I found at the thrift store on this like old dress. The dress was ugly but the buttons were so cute so I just cut the buttons off. I think the dress was about $5. I cut the buttons off and yeah, replaced it. So I cut the jacket to a crop top jacket. Um, I did that before I started bedazzling and stuff like that just to give it like a different edge. It was kind of long. I think I have a picture of how it was before but it was super long. But yeah, let's just give it a different look. Also, I did not record myself doing changing out my logo in the back um, simply because I do want to sell jackets, custom jackets for you guys. So if I give you all my tricks, then you're not going to buy it. So, hope you enjoy. I hope you